Hey, Principal Anderson. Hi, how's it going? Good. I was wondering, could we ask you 65 questions? That's a really strange number of questions. <laughs> you certainly can. Okay, question one. How are you doing today? Great. Are you ready for this? I don't know. <laughs> Good answer. What's your favorite time of day? Um, the morning. What's your favorite season? Spring. What's a cause that's important to you? Um, pretty much anything that involves human rights or animals. I have four rescue animals, so it's a bit of a problem. Should we walk? Oh, could you show us around? Of course I can. Yeah. Sweet or savory? Sweet. What song can you listen to on repeat? Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Never Heels? Heels or flats or sneakers? Heels because I only just learned to walk in them. Check it out. Uh, pretty good. How about three things you can't live without? Uh, my family, um, a sense of purpose, and uh, lots and lots of coffee. What was your favorite subject in high school? English and art. Is that cheating? I said two. What was your favorite? English. Window or aisle seat? Window. What's the most adventurous thing you've done in your life? I went to Europe and I traveled by myself. Took trains and everything. That's great. Yeah. How would you define yourself in three words? Um, curious, um, persistent, AKA stubborn, and uh, compassionate. What's the best piece of advice you've received? My college professor told me that if you can recognize a problem, then it is your responsibility to help solve it. What's your favorite board game? Life. Did you play sports when you were a kid? I did. I played soccer and basketball. I was the goalie. Who was the best teacher you ever had? Um, oh gosh, I've had so many great teachers. Um, probably Miss Dewey, my high school art teacher. I had her for four years. What book did you most recently finish? Oh, it was called A Dog's Heart by Mikhail Bulgakov. What are you currently reading? Les Miserables. It's two years in the making. What's your favorite holiday? Christmas. What's one thing you've always wanted to try, but you've been too scared to do? Skydiving? My cousin does it. She's really brave. I'm what's, not. What's the one thing you wish you knew at age 19? That you don't have to figure life out at age 19. What's something you can't do? Dance. <laughs> Where was the best vacation you've ever taken? Um, probably when I went to Europe and went to Italy. What's one city you've always dreamed of traveling to? I want to go to Scotland. I know it's not a city, but really any city in Scotland or a town would be great. Favorite food? Pasta. How about dessert? Ice cream. How about snack? Ice cream. What's a movie that made you cry? Um, Frozen 2. I'm what? embarrassed. <laughs> What's your favorite movie of the last five years? Frozen 2. <laughs> Still embarrassed? Yeah. What's... The truth is the truth. You can't fight it. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie of all time? Oh, God. Even more embarrassing. Um, Titanic. I'm sorry, guys. Wow. I should be more interested in this. What's your favorite band? Arcade Fire. I think that's halfway. 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 Oh, all right. Best concert you went to? Arcade Fire. That's why they're my favorite band. What do you usually eat for breakfast? Um, cereal and banana. Very boring. What's your favorite color? Green. Do you like surprises? No. No. Not at all. <laughs> Note for future. Yeah. Glasses or contacts? Glasses. What's your favorite item in your office? I have a dinosaur on my desk that my nephew gave me because he knew it was my favorite type of dinosaur. What did you want to do with your life at age 12? I wanted to be a teacher. I was right. You are stuck on an island. You can pick one food to eat forever without getting tired of it. What would you eat? Pasta, again. <laughs> What's your I'm favorite? Italian. <laughs> What's your favorite superhero? Um, Batman. How do you take your coffee? As like sweet and terrible for you as you can possibly make it. Yeah. Dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Dark chocolate. Shame on you. If you could master one instrument, what would it be? Cello. Will you play a song for us on the piano? Well, seeing as we've conveniently walked all the way over to the piano, of course I will. What would you like to hear? You didn't come prepared with a request, did you? That's okay. not on my list of questions, Principal Anderson. All right, let me see. Chopsticks. Chopsticks, please.
is a little rusty. Sorry, guys. What's your favorite <laughs> space in the building? Oh, I can show you. It's the student government room upstairs. Would you yeah, like, sure. Would you like you want to ask questions on the way? Yes. All right, cool. Describe yourself in a hashtag. All in. Yeah. Not to be confused with STB Ballin. STB All In. Ballin. STB All. <laughs> Name a book that everyone should read. The Brothers Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Well, you should read it. What's your spirit animal? A turtle. Slow, methodical. Yeah, it's all right. What's the weirdest word in the English language? Squelch. Use it in right? a sentence. I'm going to squelch these feelings. <laughs> <laughs> it might not even be a word, to be honest. Yeah, I think I know it from watching Peppa Pig with my daughter. <laughs> what would you like to be remembered for? Um, for caring. What's your favorite smell? Basements. Hey, you don't pick what you love. I don't think I'm supposed to be commenting. Uh, <laughs> dolphins or koalas? Koalas are fuzzy, um, so koalas, yeah. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs. Lions, tigers, or bears? Oh my. Um, lions. Favorite musical? Les Mis, which is why I'm reading the book. That's your favorite too. What? Favorite play? Death of a Salesman. Did you go to your high school prom? I did. I went alone though. Well, I went with a group of friends. It's a strong, independent woman. What's your favorite thing about being a teacher? The students. I love, I love students. They're interesting. They're fun. What's your favorite thing about being a principal? The students. <laughs> Still the same. What's your favorite Latin phrase? Okay, let me see if I can remember it right. It's from Terence. It's um, homo sum, nihil me alienum puto, which means I'm human, therefore nothing of human beings is foreign to me. What's your favorite thing about infamous Bernardian Foundation treasurer and Board of Trustees member, <laughs> Nick Pelletier? Oh, that was a little bit of self-plugging. Um, Nick Pelletier's inexhaustible energy and ability to maintain composure in stressful situations. What do you find inspiring about Dean of Students Paul Constantino? There is nothing that I don't find inspiring about Paul Constantino, but in particular, his complete inability to tell a lie. He will literally come into my office for Jolly Ranchers and tell me, I'm only here for Jolly Ranchers. I don't want to talk to you. So you got to respect that kind of honesty, right? It's pretty great. What is your proudest Bernardian moment? Um, I have a lot. Um, one was definitely um, in 2014 when um, I got Teacher of the Year and I got to speak at graduation. That was really cool. Um, but probably just everything that's happened this year. It's been quite a year for Bernardians and I've just been really impressed by the students all year. So everything this year. What does our catchphrase, catchphrase all in mean to you? Um, it means that you put your whole self into this place that we all care about and you don't give up. And where have you brought us? I have brought you to the student government room. This is my favorite room in the building. I don't fully know why. I just really like it. It's got that old school feeling. Um, and this is where I teach philosophy and new elective essay programs. So it's great. Here it is. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts well, and thank answers. you, Mr. Pelletier. And Thanks we will leave you here to teach. You brought me all the way up here and you're just going to leave. Well, you have, a, you have a student waiting oh, for you. Oh, I have a student. Excuse me. Yes. yes. So today we learned about Plato. Are you ready to learn about Plato?